Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Shamu. Recording Shamu. in progress. Associate Professor in Geography, Kollani Mohabidala, India. I am grateful to the organizers of 8th International Zugma Conference of Scientific Research and Ikshat International Turkey for inviting me as moderator or head of the session to this beautiful platform. This is session 2, hall number 7 and the organizers have invited researchers, academicians, professors from 36 countries. This is a really laborious job and in this session we have beautiful speakers seven distinguished speakers from two countries nigeria and india we have abdullah aziz b salako adibisi a bamgare federal university of technology nigeria and the topic is reviewing the barriers to implementation and construction management techniques for effective project delivery in the Nigerian construction industry. Distinguished speaker, the floor is yours. Are you there? Can you hear me? You can start your lecture. I think he has not joined yet. Shall I wait or go to the next speaker? This speaker will get 10 minutes and then five minutes for question answer. Okay, I am going to the second speaker. I hope he has not joined yet. Our second speaker, sir, Putrasiru A. Saminu, Abdullahi Idris, A. B. Okini, K. Sande, Ile Digbo, and Musrat A. Bello. Anybody of this group? The topic is the review. A review of the key barriers towards effective communication in the Nigerian construction industry. Are you here, Mr. Kudrasiru A. Samiu? The third group of speakers are Isra, S. Abbas, Bukuta Hamid Abed, Hani Kangsi of Gaziantep University, Turkey. The topic is yes, the the polar concentration of sodium hydroxide on the mechanical behavior of slag or fly ash based geopolymer ground. Mr. The floor is yours. First of all, welcome in my presentation, uh, dear researcher. I want uh, to welcome everyone. Uh, let's share my screen. Hope my voice is clear. 
Yes, it is clear. Welcome again. Uh, I'm Mukhtar from Iraq. We are uh, hope to present our presentation under the title Effect of Molar Concentration of Sodium Hydroxide on the Mechanical Behavior of Slag Fly Ash Bejogolmet Drop. The author, Astra Sabar, under me. You can make your presentation full screen. Sorry, I, I can't reach you. Here. Can you repeat your question, Doctor? Yes. Please make your presentation full screen. Okay. Uh, the outline of our presentation include introduction, object of the study, experimental work, result, and discussion, and finally conclusion. Drought technology is widely adopted. Thank you. Now I'm going to. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. The sound is equal. Thank you very much for your wonderful presentation. Please, I would like you to shed more light on the fly ash. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, can you repeat your question, please? Okay, I okay, said I, I want you to shed more light on fly ash. What is fly ash? Yeah, thank you for your question. Actually, fly ash is waste material produced of uh, coal manufacturing. When we uh, when we have coal manufacturing, the, the recycling of it will reduce it as a fly ash. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Any other question? Okay. Now I am inviting Mr. Umar Aliu Garam, Abu Bakar Baba Yarima, and Kamaluddin Musa Yasmin. And the topic of their paper is. Road surface assessment of pothole severity by close range digital photogrammetry method. Mr. Umar Aliu Garam, please start your presentation. Good morning. Uh, my name is Umar Aliu Garam from Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute. Uh, uh, not is Donald Office Gombe. My talk is uh, surface assessment of focal severity by close range digital photogrammetry method. A case study of Cham Life Lamude on Gombeyola Highway in Nigeria. Introduction. Road provides the most effective means of communication in terms of physical transportation. A high-grade and effective road increased economic growth of the nation by a reduction in traveling cost and time. Roger M. 20. 2003. Routine inspection of road and serviceability is important to ensure the maintenance is carried out at optimum time. Due to weather impacts and loads from the vehicle, surface of these roads often face serious deterioration from time to time. A foothole. Foothole is a bore shape hole in the fragment surface having minimum width of six inch and generally falls when the pavement or the base road cannot support traffic load. Severity of potholes may be defined depending on their depth. Uh, from the table below, 
these are the classification and the, the, the depth of the fault hole surface area control and the classification of the survey. The purpose of this study is to find out what is the problem in the soil. So embarking on this research, a soil has to be tested to know its behavior before you move into construction. Due to the nature of the soil here in the study area, so due to how build damages done build to buildings and just how buildings are collapsing due to differential build, uh, settlement and orders, it is therefore there is a need therefore to study the soil properties, what is happening in the soil. So yeah. after that, I we embark into study to study what are the problems in the soil. So these are the parameters we tested in the soil. The particle size distribution, the outer back limit and the specific gravity of the soil. There are some standard values of which these soil samples are, not, are supposed to exceed. But based on the research, all the values did not confine with the standards. So that shows that there is a lot of clay material in the soil, which expand when it is dry and then it shrink when it is uh, when it is wet and then it shrink yeah. when it got is it. dry. Yeah, I got it. Thank you for your available answer. You are welcome. Thank you. I am inviting now our next speaker, Mr. Subhas is there, Department of Civil Engineering, Gudi Valley, Andhra Pradesh, India. His topic is. Ex Experimental study on strength and durability characteristics of self curing, self compacting concrete. Mr. Morning, ma'am. Suhas is there. Am I, am I audible, ma'am? Yes, you are audible. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Ma'am, no, I cannot share my screen. Please permit me to share my screen. I cannot share my screens. Okay. Mr. Salishu Ibrahim, please stop sharing your screen. Otherwise, the next speaker will not share. Mr. Now it is visible on the window? Yes, yes. We can see it. Good morning, everyone. I am Mr. Subhasi Jai, and today I discuss the topic of the as we study the stain and derivative characteristics of the concrete. So first I will discuss about the introduction parts. In the introduction, the present work is highlighted the stain and derivative characteristics of the concrete by defined cement and water and aggregate ratio. The mineral uses in this preparation of the concrete are fire, granulated gravel, granular blast, and nanosilica utilized for the replacement of the material, like cement and other performance. And we are also using the nano silica for the development of the boundary of the concrete mixture. The derivative characteristics of the concrete is also measured by the application of acid like hydrochloric and sulfur acid at the 5% concentration. Yes. The today's topic is analysis of infiltrating water characteristics through permeable pavements. And the objective of this research work, can you see the slides? Can you see the slides? Yes, clear. Okay, thank yes. you. The objective of this research work is to conduct a review of the nature of the infiltration through the pavements in urban areas. The effect of storm water on defects of road surfaces, mainly pavements, traffic safety issues associated with highway storm water, the use of permeable pavements in the management of highway storm water for various traffic requirements, the identification of gaps in the existing literature for further research work. Storm water on road surface creates many problems. 
the accumulation of storm water on road surfaces results in various forms of pavements damage like reduces which reduces skid resistance friction coefficient of pavements causes hydroplaning and results in splash and spray of road water all of which lead to car crashes accident injuries and fatalities draining of storm water from pavement surfaces is critical for pavement durability as well as the provision of dry pavement surfaces and associated skid resistance for the safety of the traveling public and you can see the picture different design guidelines for porous asphalt with surface and subsurface infiltration there are many types of permeable pavements mainly we find three major types of permeable pavement permeable concrete pervious concrete pavement and porous asphalt pavement the permeable pavers include interlocking concrete pavers brick pavers stone pavers grass or turf pavers grid concrete pavers and grid plastic pavers pavers are limited to areas with light traffic such as walkways driveways parking lots parking areas alleys patios country yards and pedestrian plazas the permeable concrete and permeable asphalt have been used for low speed and high traffic pavements porous friction cores or pfc also known as open graded friction cores ogfc is a thin layer of porous hot mix asphalt or hma surface overlay placed on the top of the impervious pavement where storm water infiltrates the permeable pavements have been recommended to use on road shoulders this slide shows different types of permeable pavements and there are many benefits of using permeable pavement in roadway storm water management i am telling one by one permeable pavements provide sustainable bnp for roadway storm water by allowing roadway storm water to infiltrate and self drain into the pavement where it can either flow into the underlying soil or get collected for treatment permeable pavements also reduce the concentration of pollutants in the water that passes through the structural layers and also reduce noise created by the interaction of vehicle tires and surfaces by removing the water from the road surfaces permeable pavements provide safety to the traveling public constituents and sources of pollutants on highway runoff there are many types of pollutants like nitrogen phosphorus lead zinc iron copper cadmium chromium nickel manganese cyanide sodium calcium chloride sulfates and petroleum and the sources are pavement wear vehicles atmospheric deposition maintenance activities atmospheric deposition and fertilizer application leaded gasoline from auto exhaust and the tire wear motor oil and grease auto body rust steel highway structures such as bridges and they are moving from engine parts metal plating bearing and brassing wear moving engine parts brake lining wear fungicides and insecticides tire wear and insecticides applications there are spills leaks antifreeze and hydraulic fluids and asphalt surface leaks mainly i have collected the data from the total suspended solid volatile suspended solid total organic carbon chemical organic demand oxygen demand or cod biochemical oxygen demand or bod 
नाइट्रेट प्लस नाइट्राइट टोटल केजल नाइट्रोजेन टोटल फॉस्फोरस एसपी कॉपर लेड जी फेटल कॉलीफॉर्म ऑर्गेनिजम्स पर 100 मिलीलीटर देयर आर पॉल्यूटेंट्स ऑन द हाईवे रन ऑफ सो स्टॉम वाटर रन ऑफ that is collected using an engineered drainage system is treated prior to the discharge into the streams or rivers and lakes or used to recharge groundwater by subsurface infiltration. There are four main reasons for removing stormwater from the road surfaces. These are, we have to protect pavements from water-induced damage, we have to reduce road accidents associated with splash and spray road water. We can reduce road accident associated with reduced friction coefficient caused by road water. And we can also reduce road accidents associated with hydroplaning caused by road water. Stormwater removal from road surface is an integral component of highway design that is commonly achieved by engineering the road surface to slope to the sides with a crown at the center. The sloping surface allows stormwater to move away from the road surfaces to where the water is collected using a gutter at the curb or ditches. And the stormwater impact on durability of pavements is also important. Stormwater removal that is collected using an engineered drainage system is treated prior to the discharge into streams and stormwater falling on road surface as well as subsurface water must be drained away from the pavement to prevent accumulation of water in the pavement structure that can result in damage. Weather also impacts on roads including traffic and operational decisions. Weather acts through visibility, impairments, precipitation, high winds and temperature extremes to affect driver capabilities, vehicle performance like traction, stability and maneuverability, pavement friction, roadway infrastructure, crash rate, traffic flow and agency productivity. The vast majority of the most weather related crashes happen on wet pavement during rainfall, 70% on wet pavement and 46% during rainfall. A much smaller percentage of weather related crashes occur during winter conditions and about 18% during snow or sleet and about 18% occur in icy pavement and 16% of weather related crashes takes place on snowy or slashy pavement. Only 3% happened in the presence of fog. Now I am coming to the recommendation. There is a need to investigate mechanism responsible for the removal of pollutants by permeable pavements as well as long term pollution removal and a need for the replacement of layer materials due to clogging by suspended solids. There is a need to research the types of highway holders being used for collecting stormwater from highway PFC lanes that would allow the road shoulder to continue to provide its intended safety functions. There is a need to investigate appropriate permeable pavements that have the required structural strength to serve as highway shoulders to provide their intended safety functions. There is a need to investigate the impact of stormwater infiltration on the stability of roadside slopes and the safe use of the road steer recovery zone or CRZ. There is a need for test data on the effect of compaction, the strength or stability and infiltration of permeable shoulders on roadside slopes. There is a need for test data and impact of stabilization on the strength or stability and infiltration of permeable shoulders on roadside slopes. Thank you for patience.
thank you for hearing my lecture thank you for all thank you if you have no question i can conclude now have a nice day <laughs> thank you thank you thank you very much and if Recording you have any stopped. question you can you can ask me and if you have no problem thank you thank have you. a nice day thank you thank you i want to say something you want to share the slides yes i just my own is not a question it's just a recommendation hello yes hello yes okay i just want to recommend you thank you for your presentation i think uh, to me this is the best presentation so far so i recommend you for that thank you thank you very much thank you <laughs> okay